Hello and welcome to I am a photographer and also an equestrian, which means that I always photograph and film everyone while they have some kind of competition. Let's go! First and foremost, we gotta look the part. So I got this cool little <laughs> thing right here. going to paint my oh no I'm just going to paint my waterline was what I was trying to say it's not even that early in the morning but I didn't get much sleep last night like a real artist would so yeah I gotta hurry is what I'm trying to say I think there are only like two people who I can kind of like photograph today Fucking, what am I doing? Oh. But, yeah, I don't even know if they want to, to have photos or videos. They're going to get something. Even if they don't want that, they're going to get it. I'm going to make them fabulous, even if they lose. Which is... That the chances are high. <laughs> it's the start of the season, okay? Probably not going to win this. But whatever. Okay, now that we have this, we want our lashes to look fabulous. So, we're going to take our mascara and make them fabulous. Also, I don't curl my lashes or anything. I don't see the point. I don't want them to be extra long or something. I just want them to be there. So, whatever. I don't do that girly shit. He says while putting on makeup. Now that we got this, I look a bit more emo, but not too much that anyone would suspect me being depressed, I think. I gotta do my hair because it's sweaty and yucky from the past couple of days. <sighs> oh, wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got so weak in the last couple of weeks and I don't even know why. I started training again. Shouldn't this make me strong? Okay. Got my dry shampoo here. So let's go. <laughs> Why is this always so loud? Pretty stinky right now. But we gotta roll with that because I only have one more minute left before we gotta go. <laughs> Am I gonna make it in time? And this is our little very fluffy hair if you have very straight hair like me. Now we gotta go. I got this one song stuck in my head, the I'm in love with an emo boy or emo girl, whatever. <laughs> Okay, if you've never done any photographing work and you don't know how fucking much work it is, I'm going to show you how many pictures there are of two photo shoots or like one competition where I photograph different people and one photo shoot with two, two persons. So I'm going to show you how many pictures it actually is to go through, pick out the, the good ones and it really depends how your 
fucking client wants it, if they want all the photos they think are okay, or if they want only the highlights, or if you can pick out anything and edit it. But I'm just gonna show you how much raw material it is. However you're doing it, it's still so much work. Let me show you. You see how small the spa is? And I'm lucky, I've already gone through like this one photo shoot. They wanted to have all the raw material, so I gave them all of the raw material. <laughs> but it's still so much! <laughs> and just to be clear, I have to first sort them all out. So you have to like do the whole photo shoot, which, which is always nice. It's so much fun, but still, it's it's work. So you do the photo shoot, you like sort out the, the material that you think is fitting, and uh, you gotta give it to the client in some way or if they wanted to like double you know you just sort out the ones that are good and sometimes the client is like okay can you maybe sort out the highlights i just i i just i don't know i don't think i want every <laughs> all the photos i think i just want the highlights and you're like sure let me just go through it again so you do that and i always freaking hate it <laughs> When in the last minute you like sorted out the highlights, you were like, okay, this would be the raw highlights unedited. And then they're like, you know what? Can you edit them for me? And you're like, you know, I do this for free, right? <laughs> I should just, I should sometimes, I think I should just take money for doing all this fucking work. And then if anyone says like, oh, but I don't like how I look on this, when it's like a photo of them like riding. It's fucking sport. You will never look great. You're always like, because it's sport, you're concentrating and it's really, really hard. So please, <laughs> please, there won't be a good picture unless you fucking focus on your face. <laughs> don't make me the one who's fucking and fault for you looking stupid while you're doing sports. <laughs> Just be okay with your, with your horse looking good. Okay, please. Please. Also, I, I, I managed to hold a really cool yoga pose today, so I'm going to show you the video of it. It's class bestimmt nicht. Wie hat's geklappt? been working on this for years <laughs> no i was trying since last year and actually today i could hold it for a moment so who would have thought that kind of engaging your core muscles would help what the fuck <laughs> let's go Little guy. Oh, this website is actually really good for transferring stuff like that. I like it a lot. Wow. So now that I send the, or that I am sending the raw material, um, my client <laughs> uh, requested that I choose like two to five pictures. Um, of them that I think are especially, especially, especially nice, and that I edit the edit <laughs> edit them. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm not gonna show it to you because I don't have the agreement of of this person, the consent to 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 show them in, on the internet. So I'm not going to do that. Um, if you ever want to like see how how I edit pictures then I guess ask me the fuck <laughs> also you know what what really really annoys me I only have like I don't have the English like fun oh it's, it's okay cool I um 
sorry, right now it's just it did it, it finished uploading. Uh, I I don't know the English word for this, but I only have like a small wiener. <laughs> I can't explain it to you. I don't I don't know the words. I don't know camera language in English, so I'm just gonna show you it. I'm gonna pull out my wiener. It looks like I'm doing something weird. I'm I'm just pulling out my camera. I only have like a small thingy. I'm not gonna look up the English word right now. No. No, I'm not gonna do that. You can't make me. Make me. Fucking bitch. <laughs> no, but you know, with, with this I can't really zoom in too much. And so all the fucking pictures of the horses today are very far away and it pisses me off. And I hate when like the background's not blurry because, you know, if you if you if you've had a camera, you know what I'm talking about. Just don't know the English words for all this shit. I could explain it to you in German, you know. <laughs> it's zu weitwinkelmäßig und das ist halt kein Teleobjektiv und und dadurch hat man nicht diesen schönen diese schönen diesen tiefen und das weißt du dieses ne tiefen und schärfen und so eine Scheiße. Like, you know, you know, die Uno. Hm? Also it looks like I'm growing a mullet. But I think that's funny. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep growing my hair out till summer. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I want to like grow it out. Also look at these two little hair things. I really should just start working. I'm I'm stalling, I know. <laughs> I wish I could show you this. Because this human is so beautiful. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I am so fucking pansexual. <laughs> I want to show you something for posing. How much of a difference it makes if you have like this and look at the camera and like this is amazing. Like someone's sitting there and they're like, or like this. If they just like turn their head a bit and maybe do this, like give some rotation in the body, it looks so more alluring. Like fucking rotate your body. Looks good. You know, it's amazing. Fucking, how does that even work? But it works. <laughs> I mean, I do actually know why that works. It has just like, has to do with like, you know, instinct. Because if someone is like showing you their back and stuff, and maybe like looking over the shoulder, like, I'm, I'm helpless right now, you know? <laughs> if they're like this, they're like on attack mode, but if they like turn their back, but still like look on the, over their shoulder, they're like, I'm interested in you, come closer, like a little bit playful. And that's why, you know, it's inviting. <laughs> that's why it's, it's good. <laughs> like rotation always means that you're kind of relaxed. While when you're like this, or like your shoulders are tensed, you're like kind of straight and you want to be gay, you know, you don't want to be straight. No, I mean like, you're like kind of, gives you like a very rectangular shape and that means you're tense and that always gives the impression to the to the, the the viewer that you are like tensed up if you have some rotation in something it seems more friendly it doesn't seem too much like frontal and like i'm going to attack you this could be a meme <laughs> i'm going to attack you <laughs> okay i can give you one tip without showing you the picture most of the time cameras, especially if you're on like sport mode or automatic mode, um, which isn't a shame to use, really. Like, you don't have to be a fucking pro and be super good at like handling your camera to make good photos. I know many people who don't have any idea about how their camera works, except for I know where sports mode is and I know how to fucking take pictures and I know that this is kind of like makes many photos after one another and they can make very great pictures so but if you're using some kind of automatic program it's probably going to like lift all your photos up into a pretty bright scale so the first thing you want to do is like turn that brightness down not especially not it doesn't have to be the brightness it can also be like they're called the amount of time your um, camera takes to, like take take the photo so if you if you have like a bit more go a bit darker so 
maybe like turn that down a bit you can play around with that but i would give you the tip like in general to tone your photos down a bit with the brightness and to turn the contrast up a bit because it makes the photo look a bit more alive it probably looks pretty flat otherwise you know maybe that's if you don't really know any anything that much about uh taking photos or you just want to take like cool selfies turn the brightness down it'll look better except you want this very bright look it can also be very cool to have like this flashy very bright look do whatever you want but i do that to make the photos look look more alive and give them more depth so yeah there are thousands of instagram uh, tutorials and stuff on how to make your photos look better but yeah whatever <laughs> and also don't take pictures with a black and white filter on put the filter on afterwards because you probably at some point it will happen that you think like oh now i wish the the photo photo had had colors so i could play around with that <laughs> And not have it black and white already so take pictures without filters and put the filters on afterwards just to make sure and also with colors which i like to what i like to do is i'll, I'll take like complementary colors on sometimes colors that are nearly complementary colors so when you have this color wheel you have it like um it's blue and orange or um purple and yellow those are colors that are like directly opposite to each other maybe i switched them around right now i'm not sure but i like to take those and have one side be the shadow and one side be the middle tones that are a little bit more pushed to that side and the other ones are pushed pu <sighs> fucking hell are pushed a bit more to the other side that way you have like um a cool contrast between the two and it also gives the picture a bit more depth and it also looks kind of funny you can make like if you use like more purplish shades for shadows and have this like orangey yellow middle shade it'll actually make the picture look really golden just try it out and you'll see what i mean <laughs> and um i like to do that or take like a reddish orangey tone as a shadow and a more orange yellowish tone for the middle tones of colors um that way it will look really warm which can also be great um or take kind of like a greenish turquoise-ish <laughs> shade for shadows if you have like a cold picture and you can put like a little bit of yellow on the middle parts or also use blue but with blue you really gotta be careful in to not take it too much into the blue because blue will automatically make the like the eye always sees like oh that's weirdly blue <laughs> because we have a lot of like red and orangey and yellow tones but rarely blue tones in our skin so it'll always seem very blue if you put blue on anything <laughs> in like the middle parts if you put blue in like the shadows it won't really you won't really notice that much because shadows are already always have this kind of bluish hint to them if you can see like this this looks blue kind of the shadow that's right here so yeah i mean i have yellow light right now so it's amazing how the shadows like these, these shadows you can see it's different from these on me because i have the white light from the pc shining on me well this is the yellowish light shining on the um closet <laughs> man i was so many years <laughs> i spent in there and i still don't know the name of the object <laughs> okay just the thing i want to like oh my god my hair <laughs> fuck um like okay bear with me for a minute i'm pansexual or bisexual whatever you want to call it i don't care about the gender so the thing is i like people who could actually potentially like me and not straight girls which 
oftentimes they think that I'll immediately just be like, I love you, you're so fucking sexy, I want to have sex with you. Actually, no. Um, <laughs> because I am attracted to people who could be attracted to me, you know? And uh, the thing is, I'm still... It, it, that doesn't mean that I'm completely unaffected if they are flirting with me. Okay, and I think some people... Take it a bit too far. <laughs> like, you know, you can't expect me to be unaffected by you literally rubbing your ass against my nether regions. <laughs> and I'm not joking. This happens to me frequently. <laughs> On, not only on parties, but also like in, in daily life where they're joking around and like kind of start twerking against me and I'm like or like just fucking putting their ass in my face with like on purpose and you know I'm I'm always like yeah no ha ha very funny but Why are you doing this? I don't get I'm like I know that you're not attracted to me. Why are you doing this? I know it's just a joke, but you aren't doing it to each other. Why are you always just doing it with me? You can twerk against each other all you want. You won't like you're not attracted to female bodies, so it's you know, why I don't get it. I really don't get it. Also, isn't it funny? Okay. I'm taking my head off, oh, head, headphones off for this too. My hair looks more and more like... <laughs> what the fuck is it? Okay. Um, if, if someone makes like a joke about don't do that, I'm always like, I'm going to do that. But if they say something like, I'm going to be very disappointed in you if, they, if you do that, I'm like, how could you say, no, I'm not going to do that. It's off. I'm sorry. <laughs> like... That changes everything. <laughs> like, don't just, don't just fucking bring that in. I could, like, I wanted to tease you with this, but now it just feels like I don't want to disappoint you. <laughs> Are those the mommy and daddy issues talking? Probably. Okay, I think I've ranted enough for today. I hope you had fun watching this video and maybe you've learned something. Or maybe you want to try something out now. Bye.